And this is the Mercedes-Benz Rangers postgame show on a night we haven't experienced in a month and a day. A Rangers regulation loss. It snaps a 10-game point streak despite a 51 shot on goal night, the most in two years. The Rangers streak ends with a thud. 4-1 the final Winnipeg Jets over the Rangers. Welcome inside our Delta MSG studios. John Giannone alongside Steve Valiquette. And don't look now, but Igor Shesterkin has allowed at least four goals in a game for three straight games. That has never happened in his NHL career. He's allowed at least three goals for six straight games. That has never happened. He's allowed three goals or more in 10 of his last 13. That has never happened. We're seeing things that we're not used to seeing from the reigning Vesna Trophy winner. Is it a cause for concern? Yes, it is, because the table is set and everybody's ready to eat and the goalie's not on his game. And what I've seen in the past is when a goalie's not playing well, you have to play him out of that losing streak. Play the heck out of him right now. He should be on the ice for every single practice, every game to get your timing. Now, here's what I saw in the first period. His timing was there because the shoulder saves were big. He was able to come out and scramble and protect up top the right way. His first four or five scoring chances against in the first period, I liked his play. He was technically perfect on that walk. You can see it in slow motion when the Winnipeg player gets ahead of him and just a little bit ahead. You just gotta cross the middle. Imagine allowing the player to cross my necktie and then catch up. That's what timing looks like on a play around the net. He was protecting up top, which shows me that he has timing when he's going down to his butterfly to still get his chicken wing up there. Those are big saves. So now he's going to get tested because the goals that do go in are off broken plays for goals number one and goals number two. And I think what happens to him, John, is that his will and his belief in himself is being tested after making some good saves. After making some good saves and being on your game, you're not getting the results because you're not getting a bounce on goal number one as it goes off the knee of Dubois. So now maybe if you're Igor, you're trying to get hot and you don't know why the puck luck isn't helping you. And the first shot here from Connor goes off of Truba. It goes to the back door, which is why Shifley scores. And then this one, to me, it's more on Shesterkin because now he's trying to play himself out of having a little bit of bad luck in goals one and two and he doesn't look good on goals three and four. Good by his standard. So I'd imagine that right now the hurdle and the learning that he's going through is I'm not getting results, do I get frustrated and change everything? Or do I review that first period with Benoit Allaire tomorrow and take a step back and say, you know what, I'm doing things the right way here. I got a little bit of bad luck on goals one and two. I shouldn't have talked myself into a problem. And I think that's more about what he's learning right now. And every goalie, and I'd love, I'd love for Igor to skip this step, skip this entire process altogether and have another season where he gets a Vesna. But maybe that's not the best thing for the New York Rangers as a team. Your goalie has to go through it, and he's going through it right now. When he figures it out, he's going to have the tools to be able to get him out of this jam again in the future. And it could happen in the playoffs. I don't want my goaltender to go through a tough time for the first time in the Stanley Cup final, would you? Right. No, no. Sure, yeah. I want you to learn this. And this is, this is his learning right now. The only way he's gonna get out of it, John, play him, play him. I love the way Halak's playing, but I don't think the Rangers need the wins as much as they need Shesterkin to be Shesterkin. Play him right now. I think he's got to play a run of games. Yeah, it becomes an intriguing side storyline with 25 or so games left in the season. This is the first time in 2023 calendar year that the Rangers go consecutive games without a win. They also snap a five-game home winning streak. Vincent Trocek was the only goal scorer tonight for the Rangers in the 4-1 loss. And let's go inside the film room powered by HP and CDW. And Steve, how did the Rangers score their only goal? Well, it's the high cycle. I think the team's done a really good job of when it gets clogged down low to bring everybody with the attention up into the high ice. And that's why Tarasenko comes off a slide here. And you can see why Fox is gonna scissor with him as Lindgren is gonna go into the middle of the ice. Now up top, the more that you switch, the more that you're asking the other team's defense to keep track and try not to lose position. As you can see, it works. You've got players that are out of position, facing the wrong way. And then what happens next is there's a puck battle in front and two players have all of their focus on Tarasenko and nobody is checking the most important player on the ice, Trocek, off the back door. And we oftentimes talk about how important it is as a team offense to own 
the weak side post, where Trocek was. If you always have a forward there, mindful of rebounds, broken plays, or great passes like Tarasenko made there, you're going to cash in your goals. For Tarasenko, now two goals and two assists in his first six games as a Ranger. 